Do you know that model deployment is one of the critical phase of a machine learning or an AI related portfolio project? As per one of my internal surveys, almost 80% of the people who are in the journey of being a data scientist or a data analyst, they do not know about model deployment. Some of them might have a knowledge of Flask or Streamlit applications, but most of them don't know how to take their project to the next level by deploying it into cloud or similar kind of architectures. How many of you have heard about Flask or Streamlit applications? Please let me know in the comment section below. In this video, I'm going to talk about a very important topic that is model deployment. How model deployment is important for a data scientist or somebody who is going into the AI engineering path, be it a machine learning engineer, NLP engineer or a deep learning engineer. However, model deployment is not that important for a data analyst, but it is always good to know. Stay till the end and I'm going to share a lot of information about model deployment along with a lot of free resources on how you can learn them and how, can, how you can take your projects to the next level, how you can stand out in the job process, in the job search process apart from other students. So make sure watch out this video till the end. I'm definitely sure that you will be able to grasp what I'm saying and you will also take your projects to the next level by following my steps. Hi all, my name is Satyajit Patnaik and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to talk about a very important topic, which is model deployment. Now, before getting into this topic, let me also talk about the entire process entire data analytics and data science process that we basically work on from scratch. That means any company you join in, any project that you start working on, this is the path that you will be following. It all starts with business understanding. Once you are done with the business understanding part, you know that this is the problem statement. This is what I need to solve. Then our next step is always talking about the data understanding. That's where majorly business analysts or some senior data science folks work together in gathering requirements, understanding the type of data that needs to be captured for our entire analytics and the data science process. After the data understanding phase comes data preparation, sorry, data collection, then comes data preparation, then comes EDA. So basically these three processes are collection, preparation and EDA. That means you start collecting the data, you prepare the data, you deal with the missing values and all those kind of issues that are existing in the current data format. And once your data is cleaned, you take it to the next level by performing the EDA. That is where the data analytics part is done. Beyond that, the data science team come across the ADA insights, they take the data and the ADA insights to the next level by creating a machine learning or a deep learning model. They start creating models, they start building multiple models, evaluate those models. And finally, once they have the final piece of model ready, then they take it to deployment. Now, this is how the whole architecture looks like in real scenarios. Many of you who are in your journey to become a data scientist or data analysts, you might not know the pain of the data collection part and you might not know the pain of the model deployment part. Most of you get the data sources from Kaggle, GitHub, take the data, put algorithms, classification, regression or whatever it is, create models. So you're just doing the middle 30 to 40 percent work, which is literally one of the most easiest tasks to do. The major issue is in the data collection part which is very difficult to explain because data collection depends from company to company. And I literally cannot explain you the hassle. In some of my scenarios, I am being very lucky to get data very easily. In some of my previous companies, I faced like four to five months of wait, four to five months of waiting time in order to get my final data. So that story is very difficult to explain. Talking about the model deployment part, many of you who are in the ML or AI journey, they think that once my model is ready, I will just take it to the Streamlit application or create a Flask application and done, which is good. Now, 
you don't know what exactly happens under the belt and in, in 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 each company right the tech stacks differs some companies might be using aws lambda functions some companies might be using their own tech stacks in order to deploy those kind of projects right so when you are mocking up a project for a local project yes flask or streamlit helps but i always tell my students to take one step ahead so that you all can stand out in the application process if there are 10 applicants out of which 100% sure five or six of them might not know about the deployment part they only have worked on the model building part that's it out of the four candidates who have worked on deployment almost three or even four might not have worked on cloud deployment they might have only worked on flask or a streamlit application now you can be that one candidate out of the 10 who can stand out in the applications if you take your project to the next level which means once your model is ready why don't you go ahead and deploy it in some cloud applications maybe aws cloud or azure or gcp now in case you want to learn how to do the model deployment part there are so many videos on youtube you can go through them even i have a lot of videos related to the model deployment coming back to the resources on where you can learn i will not confuse you guys by providing multiple videos a simple course on zep analytics is already there on model deployment and that is completely free of cost the videos that are available in the course are of course my youtube public videos but in case you don't want to have hassle to learn to go through my youtube courses and see where the videos are and all those things for a hassle free life just go ahead watch out the link in the description enroll it for free learn how i have created different videos on model deployment related to um, related to I have created model deployment using Flask, RESTful APIs, which I think you must be knowing. Model deployment on Heroku, model deployment on Google Cloud Platform, on Azure Cloud Platform, on AWS EC2 instances, and even how to deploy models use creating some web application using Python without using HTML and CSS. So multiple techniques are already shown in the course. Link will be in the description. Go ahead, enroll and share this video with as much people as possible. And one more request, like the video and leave a comment on any topic. Let's say if you know about Streamlit or Flask or not, or if you know about cloud deployment, let me know in the comment section. In case you also have any specific queries that you want me to answer, also leave a comment because I go through each and every comment and I will revert back through the comments. That's all about this particular video. I hope this was informative. In case it was, you know what needs to be done. Like, share and subscribe. Thank you. See you in the next video. Till then. Bye-bye.